Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Bondi Blue. I hope all is well. I'm coming to y'all today for a Love and Hip Hop Atlanta review, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into it. So the episode starts off with Carly in her majorette costume going down to the funeral home so that she can bury her marriage. I said, you mean to tell me y'all did all of that dramatization at the end of the last episode for Carly and her duck lips to be burying her marriage to Mo? Are you serious? And then Spice magically appears in one of the pews this week. And then we see Mimi and Ty and Rashida show up. Oh, and Erica as well. They actually were dressed as if they were showing up for a real fune. I say, you know what? I can't stand you damn people that love hip hop. Because y'all are wrong for this, okay? All of this fake-ass dramatization for Carly and this wayward relationship that she got into knowing good and damn well that Mo was abusive. Child, I guess. But she crying about how, you know, it's just been so hard. And I can't be the only woman that's going through something like this. I can't be. It's like... Tina Turner, bitch. No, you're not. Okay, cut it out. She work on my nerves, y'all. Because <laughs> I feel like she's constantly playing on people's emotions, trying to get them to feel bad for her when she is the author of her own story. Okay, like she is definitely the person that is producing this storyline. Apparently she had hidden from everybody that she and Mo had been married for a year. Nobody knew but Spice. Mimi is astonished that Carly didn't tell any of her friends about her marriage to Mo. And I'm just kind of like, child. So you want me to believe that Carly married Mo a year ago and nobody knew about it? Yeah, I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. But okay, fine. We'll go along with it, loving hip hop. I'm here. Child, when Carly pulled out the picture of the prostitute from the casket, I could have passed the hell out. I said, no, she did not pull that out that casket. Y'all need to stop playing with death like this. Like, this is not, I was like, what the fuck? Like, I, I can't believe y'all played with death like this. And this girl pulling this picture out the casket. So, Carly's story is that Mo cheated on her. There's been so much lies on top of the situation with Alexis Sky. And the picture she pulled out was a picture that some female sent her of her naked in a bed. Rashida says, girl, I know you wasn't fighting about this lame nigga at my party. And Carly starts to cry and all of the girls are trying to comfort her. And I'm just over it already. Like I'm over it already because first of all, Carly, don't play with my emotions like that. I mean, I wasn't really, you know, feeling no type of way anyway, cause I know never to trust a woman with lips like you. But I just, I cannot. Y'all, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through Carly in the lip filler and Sierra in the lip filler and it's just like oh my god what have y'all done to y'all faces the rich girls from Real Housewives of Atlanta don't even pump their faces up like this like Cynthia's little uh shit under her eyes you know what I'm saying like that's how you do it like the way Cynthia did it that's the way Kenya okay Kenya was close but Kenya looks good for the most time whatever she gets done her little boop boop y'all need to look after the black girls on Atlanta from Real Housewives with the boop boop because see y'all over here in Atlanta with loving hip-hop obviously y'all got the cheap doctor because y'all <laughs> y'all look a hot ass mess and I don't know how I'm supposed to not be focusing on that Y'all want me to be worrying about stupid storylines and I'm trying to get past people's faces that have changed, okay? And I don't know who they're supposed to be no more. So then we see Young Jock, y'all. Can I just say that I'm always looking at Young Jock's hair expecting for something different to happen? Even though he has a fade this season, I keep looking at it like, is it gel down though? Like, <laughs> something, something is missed with the wave pattern. Look, never mind. He introduces light skin Keisha, y'all. And she's independent. She's a rapper. And she has used her relationships with her industry friends to get on because she got what it takes. Okay? She's also bringing her man with her coca. Coca Vango, I think that's his name, child, I guess. <laughs> I'm look, I hope he ain't Lorenz Tate in the Rain On Me video, girl, because we don't know much about neither one of y'all right now. But I started following Light Skin Keisha on Instagram this week, so we gonna see. She cute, though. She cute. She sound like she could rap. Like, I didn't think to remember her rap to make fun of her, so that must mean she sounded good when I watched it the first time. <laughs> y'all, I watched it last night. I was half asleep. My bad. But I like Light Skin Keisha so far. So far, okay? 
Either way, she says that she's met her soulmate in Coca Van Gogh and they the best thing that ever happened to one another. And then she kind of comes over because the two of them are talking to Jock. So when she kind of came over, I'm like, oh, look at Shekinah, y'all. Looking the exact same, acting like shit done changed, but not really. Light Skin Keisha tells them about how she did a song with Scrappy and he posted it on his Instagram and then he deleted it and she was like why you did that and he never get back to her about it. She felt like he act funny when he around certain people. We all know what that translates to. When I'm around my old lady if I find out she got a problem with you then that mean I can't work with you no more. And I feel like if men are going to let the females they are with run their businesses then we need to check in before because who has time to waste on recording a song off for you not to promote it because the BAM is feeling some type of way. And y'all know I love Scrappy and the BAM. But I can tell y'all right now, I'm not about to agree with the BAM on this foolishness. Like, I'm just not. Y'all care too much about y'all damn friends if you out here picking up beefs and starting fights with bitches because they was dating the same nigga at the same time. Like, who cares? Who cares? He's single, ain't he? That mean that if he gets took, he gets took. What is you mad at light skin Keisha for? Okay? People move from relationship to relationship. That's it. Just like you don't want nobody to be mad at you because Scrappy chose you over Shay, over the Erica girl, over his baby mama. Like he didn't chose you over everybody and he was single. I don't understand why that's any different than whatever the shit was going on with Coco Vanga and, and, and whoever he was with with the light skin Keisha girl. Like whoever the BAM's friend was because the BAM gonna give us the information on that you know later. But I just kind of was like are we really out here beefing with a bitch we ain't never met before that we don't even really know because her and my homegirl was dating the same dude at the same time. Like what in the 25 year old bitch issue is this BAM? You too old and got too many children that about to pass throughout your vagina for you to be worrying about stuff like this i'm sorry i'm sorry like no 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 moving along yo light skin keisha said don't pick your shoes when you fuck with the van Goghs. i said oh all right y'all married or something oh okay then y'all are not the van Goghs. what is going on is that his real last name never mind i'm gonna move on because i don't know y'all people then sierra in her face she's stressed out because she's going to court to see about this case with shoot her other baby mama and y'all she went down to the court with a bodysuit and a fresh face of botox i said bitch not a bodysuit down to the courthouse i guess and she put a blazer on she thought that was okay i was like all right all right sierra whatever you need to do to make you feel confident sis carly says that she's on her way to the courthouse y'all we saw carly in the car stuck in traffic trying to get to the courthouse getting to the courthouse trying to call sierra can't get in contact with sierra ain't in the right courthouse just all of these different things that kept carly from getting into that courthouse on time sierra ended up getting a continuance anyway but that's still gonna spark beef between she and carly because she felt like carly wasn't there for her i just kind of feel like sierra gonna work on my nerves this season now the one thing i do agree with sierra about is shooter and bk so they standing outside the courtroom. Shooter start walking up. I'm like, oh, all right. So he gonna show up for his baby mama. That's good for his ex-wife. He should show up for her. Because he don't want his ex-wife, his baby mama to go to jail. So he should show up for her. I'm like, oh, all right. Shooter about to show up. Shooter say, oh, no, I'm not going in. I just showed up to support you from out here. And I'm like, you could have stayed your rabbit ass home if you wasn't going to come inside and tell the judge that this girl didn't beat your baby mama up, especially since you was there talking about I'm not going inside and saying nothing. I ain't snitching. It's not snitching if you tell him what happened and ain't nothing happened. Like, I just, I cannot with hood nigga antics with this stupid ass mindset of, oh, I'm going to let whatever happened to her happen because I can't go back inside a courtroom boy boy like I, the mental retardation of some of you Negroes I just cannot you know what I'm saying like I'm sorry y'all but that really made me mad and then BK and his y'all BK gonna turn the shooter and dap him off and say oh he understand he get it he, you know thanks for the support this ain't no damn support you showing up outside the courtroom so you can stand outside. They can arrest you outside the courthouse just as much as they can arrest you inside the courthouse shooter. Okay, you 
stupid. You showed up, but you're not going to come in? Like, I'm sorry, y'all, but that just blew my mind, and I understood why Sierra was upset, why she was looking at BK and his Beijing, like, what the hell are you talking about? Dapping him off, now you agree with him. What's wrong with you, okay? Like... But I guess that he was just trying to move this along because they were making a scene out front of the courtroom. And if we don't want the police to come out here and ask us what is transpiring, then we need to go ahead and let this be what it is. He's not coming in. Okay, fine. Let's go into the courthouse. Don't start screaming and hollering with him in front of this courthouse. Let's not do that. So I do understand if that's where BK was coming from. But at the same time, you should have just been like, all right, babe, come on. Let's go inside the court. He ain't coming in. He ain't helping. Let's go. But it shouldn't have been like, oh, let me dap him off and thank him for nothing. Like, oh, Lord, I don't know why she's still with BK. But like I said, y'all, the judge granted them a continuance and she lives to worry about this court case another day. Y'all, Akbar V and Alexis Sky meet up. They bring their babies with them. And basically, Akbar V gets on this damn television and acts like she didn't know Alexis Sky was showing up to Rashida and Kirk's event to start shit with Carly. You knew exactly what y'all was showing up there for. So I don't know why you feel the need to sit here and reprimand Alexis for some shit you knew y'all was going to do. Whatever, Akbar. Okay, like, you not about to convince me you got sense because you went with her knowing what she was about to do. But Akbar says she got to focus on her children. She can't afford to be a messy bitch no more because she's trying to get all her kids back. She have all her kids, but she has called upon their grandparents and their daddies to help her out while she try to get her music career off the ground. And this is my thing. If Candy is already your cousin and this music shit ain't pop for you yet, then it's a hobby. And bitch, you need to get a job. Okay, you need to get a career, bitch. You need to go back to school and find a trade, something. But you need to figure out a way to make money that's not dependent on a music career that ain't never happened for you. And I'm not saying that it won't happen. What I'm saying is you got too many damn children and obviously not enough health insurance for you to be out here, oh, I need them to watch my kids while I try to get my music career off the ground even though my cousin is candy. Like, I'm not saying that that ensures success, but it damn sure helps. So if you ain't jumped off yet, you probably need to invest your time and money in another business so that you can fund your life and your children's life instead of depending on music to pay some damn bills, okay? Now look, we know she probably out here doing whatever she gotta do to make ends meet. But ultimately, I think that it's time for you to figure out something else to do, Akbar. Okay, like you can be a rapper on the weekends and you need to do something else during the weekdays to ensure that you can financially support yourself and them children. Okay, girl, I I'm just, I'm tired. I'm tired of people with their sad step stories about how they're trying to make it as a rapper. Meanwhile, you got 50 or 11 children out here depending on other people, maybe not in safe households and shit because they being passed around from this family member to that family member because you can't give them stability. Like, I'm not trying to judge her or nothing, y'all, but I'm just saying. I'm tired of seeing this shit. Alexis talks about the situation with Mo and Carly and about how she's going to have to sit down and talk to Carly because this situation with Mo has gotten out of hand. From her standpoint, she was never in a relationship with him. And I'm like, why did you have this much dealings with somebody that you wasn't in a relationship with or you weren't having sex with? Why are you hanging around somebody, getting your family involved with somebody, decorating their house? Like, why are you doing all of this shit with somebody you ain't even, like, in a relationship with? That part of... Alexa Sky's story makes no sense to me, but okay, girl, whatever. Now, Carly and Rashida go to see a divorce attorney about Carly getting a divorce from Mo. Carly says that Sierra hasn't called her since the court date, but she has her own life to worry about. I say, yeah, you you, you really need to be worrying about what, what <laughs> girl, yeah, focus on something else because Sierra need to be worrying about... <sighs> Child, y'all need to worry about why y'all shitting plastic these days. Y'all need to worry about that. They discuss Mo and Alexis Sky, and Carly says that Mo wanted Alexis to leave his house and she didn't want to leave. Rashida knows that Carly is leaving shit out the story. She don't really have time to delve deep into it, but we all know that Carly is bullshitting about whatever the situation is. Because I'm trying to understand why, if you don't have nothing to do with the situation between Alexis and Mo, I need to understand why you didn't call Alexis' mama and said you're going to spit on her on site. I need to understand. Like, why? 
<laughs> can we talk about how that happened carly okay but they go to see the lawyer and she tells them about a girl who told her that Mo was cheating on her. And that's when she got the picture of the girl standing in front of her mirror on her bed, ass naked. And Mo said that it wasn't their house. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, how you gonna tell somebody it's not their house? Don't don't Carly live there with you? Like, obviously she would know what the house looked like. I swear, keep the lie alive. Carly says she's through with Mo, but Mo still wants to be with her. And I'm just kind of like, y'all, let Mo speak for himself. Where the hell is Mo? Okay? Because we're not going to have this one-sided storyline all damn season from Carly. I'm just not here for it. So, y'all, Ernest and Mama Z. <laughs> y'all need some kicks. Okay? Ernest is taking care of Mama D post-surgery. And she says that he nags her to death. But for the most part, he's her ride or die man. I said, I know that's right, Mama D. Ernest is always there when you need him, girl. So Jock drops Scrappy off to Mama D's house. He's ride sharing. Of course, we have to put that in the storyline somewhere that young Jock is out here ride sharing. I'm like, okay, young Jock, we get it. <laughs> you don't have to keep explaining to us why you're out here ride sharing even though you know people that ain't got no money expect for you to have too much money to be doing something like this but i'm like they must not know how many damn children you got but jock wants the info on light-skinned keisha from scrappy and scrappy says basically that the bam got a home girl that used to mess with coca vango at the same time that light skin keisha started talking to him and then he kicked the girl to the curb and started talking to light skin keisha and now the bam mad and don't want him working with the girl but he don't really have time to worry about that because he's too busy worrying about mama d and her drinking so they go over to mama d's house and scrappy and Ernest talk about how they are worried about her and whether she is not drinking the way she says she's not drinking. Mama D talks to Jock about throwing a surprise birthday party for Scrappy. And we see that's where, you know, it's a possibility that Mama D was sipping more than Coca-Cola out of her drink. So I'm a little worried about her. And I know she's been back and forth to the hospital a lot because I follow her on Instagram. So I'm worried about Mama D right now, especially under, you know, current circumstances. So y'all, you know, just be out here praying for everybody. We gonna be all right, y'all. We gonna be all right. So y'all, the BAM goes shopping with Sierra. Sierra talks about how she needs her friends and her family support during this time. And she's inviting everybody to come down to this little party she having and she'll let everybody know what's been going on with her. But she's inviting everybody from the show, including Tokyo. Now we ain't seen Tokyo yet. Now you gonna be on this season? Cause I, I thought I saw you fighting somebody, but we ain't seen you yet. But either way, she wanted Tokyo to come to the event, but Tokyo got something going on with Light Skin Keisha cause Tokyo and Light and Keisha are friends and they rap and make music together from time to time I'm guessing. Bambi of course gotta roll her eyes and have something to say about light skin Keisha because she don't like that city girl home wrecker type shit. I'm like ooh the city girl's gonna have beef with the bam after this. <laughs> I was surprised the moles wasn't on Instagram arguing with one another last night. Sierra tells the BAM that she doesn't believe Carly was late to court. She believes because somebody told her that Carly really didn't want to show up to be there for Sierra. So she didn't. She acted like she was late and all of that. But really she didn't want to get involved in any of that. And I just kind of feel like why isn't that a conversation that you can have with Carly instead of going around running your mouth to everybody assuming the worst. At the end of the day Sierra even though I can't stand Carly. I still feel like Carly is going through her own shit just like you going through yours. And when you are grown people with children and families and husbands and all of that stuff going on, you can't always be there for your friend the way you would want them to be there for you or vice versa because you have to be there for yourself and your own damn family okay so the way sierra is taking it so personally that carly has other things going on that she hasn't even inquired about it, it, it just blew me it just blew me she's always trying to point out how somebody is a better friend to her than carly y'all are obviously still friends because y'all seem to be going to the same doctor who y'all not listening to about how much filler and botox to put in y'all damn faces every time i look at one of y'all i'm like why lord why I don't know if Carly wasn't really trying to be there for Sierra because it looked like she was trying to be there for her to meet, okay? But at the same time, I'm wondering who told Sierra that? Like, was it a producer or was it somebody on the show? 
who told you that Carly wasn't really trying to be there for you? Because the camera people was in a car with Carly when she was trying to get down to the courtroom. Another thing is, I don't understand why y'all didn't, you know, decide to meet up outside the courthouse. Why you didn't give her the court, like as soon as you walk in, all right, Carly, this is the courtroom number that we in right now in this building at this address. Just want to make sure you're going to be there because I'm about to go in the courthouse and I'm not going to be able to look at my phone. So this is the info you need because I see you running late. Like that just should have been some type of communication with Carly if it mattered all of that much. So Carly is in the gym trying not to bust an implant. And Alexis comes in to talk. I said, oh, this is where y'all meet up to talk, the gym? And they go from fighting and trying to spit on one another to meeting up in the gym with boxing gloves to have a, a very respectful conversation about what's been transpiring with Mr. Mo. Okay, because Alexis says she feel like Carly deserved better than Mo. <laughs> like, because you older than me and I feel like you deserve better. I'm like, really, Alexis Sky? Is that is that your standpoint that Carly deserves better child i didn't know what the hell was going on in this conversation i thought it was beef turns out it wasn't <laughs> turns out it wasn't beef at all but apparently carly's issue is that she and mo got robbed by alexis sky's people and alexis was saying that her people was in business with mo and mo stole money from them and so that's why they came and robbed mo while he was with carly but Alexis says she didn't know anything about a gun. She didn't know anything about anybody getting robbed. So I guess that's why Carly got on the phone and cursed Alexis' mama out. Because it's like, you know, F you and your whole family. Because y'all out here putting guns in my face over whatever the hell y'all got going on with Mo. But see, Carly, that should make you look at Mo with with, with, with strange face. Like, why are you getting into it with Alexis' people over this? When really you should be looking at Mo like, nigga, what you got me involved in? Because I'm walking around shopping with you and my life ain't safe i'm not safe with you if i can't go shopping without somebody coming up to rob me because of some foolishness you got going on with them so i feel like even more so that carly and mo don't need to be together and she needs to focus on herself and if it's real why are you on the show let's be real when people be going through stuff like this in real life do they really want the cameras to follow them around while they getting their ass beat come on now child i'm sorry but i know y'all want me to believe that carly is going through all of this but i can't believe her then alexis sky starts to talk about how she and mo never had sex and carly was like child i'm gonna let her lie about that but i've seen text messages of you know threesomes they was trying to hook up and vacations they took but she got the info from mo about whatever was going on with alexis but i think alexis is lying about that as well because that don't even make no damn sense so y'all Sierra is turning up, okay, and enjoying her freedom at her little event. She got Malaysia there. I was like, all right, look at Malaysia, look at Toya, all right, hey girl. And then Rashida and Kirk, the bam, scrappy, all of them are there. And she's telling them about the situation with her court date and how Carly wasn't there. Rashida knows that both of these girls are going through something right now and she's trying to be both of their friends. But this is some serious stuff going on right here. And we trying to understand why we here, but we ain't here and why Carly wasn't there for Sierra okay that's what the Bam and Rashida and all of them are, are wondering about Carly gets there and comes over and Rashida asks why she wasn't there for Sierra and Carly says well first of all I was running late you know I was stuck in traffic then I couldn't find the right courtroom and Sierra says that someone told her that she missed the court date on purpose and Carly says, no, I'm always going to be there for you, girl. You my friend. I'm always going to be there for you. Even though you haven't really been there for me. And I'm like, Carly. Like, I understood what Sierra meant when she was like, don't make this about you. This is about me right now. It's not about you. Sierra walks away. So she and the BAM in Malaysia and all of them are talking. And Rashida and Carly are still talking. And Carly is explaining herself and about how she got all of this stuff going on. And she's trying to be there for Sierra. But Sierra not being there for her. She got events and stuff going on. And instead of Sierra being there for her, she's online taking pictures with Stevie J. So Sierra is over there reading lips because how could you not read them big ass lips and she goes back over there to confront Carly and she's like I seen you talking about Stevie J okay we have the same lawyer bitch okay we was at the same lawyer's office and that's why I took a picture with him you need to leave Carly okay because this is my event and I'm trying not to whoop your ass right now so you need to leave Carly get up out of my party Carly Carly didn't want to leave. Carly was like, I ain't going nowhere. And then the next thing I know, y'all, 
Sierra mushed the shit out of Carly. I said, oh, Lord, make sure your lips not <laughs> stuck on. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> a wig went back. Everything, y'all. Sierra really must have been drinking that night, but Sierra was trying to get the Carly. I said, what happened? Y'all was friends, baby. What happened? They was really trying to fight each other, y'all. I was so disappointed. And even though I understand where Sierra is coming from, I feel like Sierra is so in her emotions that she can't see what's really going on. And I don't think that's necessarily Carly's fault. I think Carly was trying to be there for her. Y'all, I can't believe she wished Carly like that. <laughs> Child, I can't wait to see what happens next week. Y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if y'all have not already. I hope y'all enjoyed the review. I love y'all. Be safe. I'll see y'all in the next one.